What is up everybody, Luke Film Boss here, and today I'm going to do a quick movie review on Captain America Civil War. Now this one is a controversial one for me because while most people think that it's one of the best, if not the best film in the MCU, I am not one of those people. I actually think it's closer to the bottom of the list, mostly because of my personal enjoyment. I do acknowledge that there is a lot of good stuff in here, and so quality-wise, I put it a little bit higher. But it's still, even in quality, in my personal opinion, I don't think it even comes close to some of the better films in the MCU. So most of the reasons for that is because of the script. While there are some amazing, especially emotional moments towards the climax of the film that I think are quite possibly some of the best stuff in the MCU, the journey to getting there is full of plot conveniences, especially with the villain Zemo, whose plan really shouldn't work it just kind of happens like to his benefit and i don't think the the movie really qualifies that like it doesn't give enough reasons for why everything fell into place so perfectly it just kind of did and he was kind of like hoping on a prayer that everything that he set up would come to pass and it did but at least it it got us to some good stuff like the fight between cap and iron man and bucky that all was great it's just like the reasoning behind it like makes sense but also just seemed a little bit too convenient for the villain aside from that the whole thing really it's a well-crafted movie i like like everybody has really realistic and understandable motivations for which team they choose and why they do it and so especially between captain america and iron man they they are the heart and soul of this movie and just the way that they clash together is definitely what made this movie so good the parts that were so good um the action was like it wasn't as good as winter soldier which was kind of upsetting i mean it was close like there are some sequences that are just you can tell that they're carrying over from winter soldier with some of these scenes but for the most part, the visuals and everything just don't work quite as well for Civil War, especially the airport scene, which is a very cool sequence. I can understand why so many people are like, oh, it's so great. Like, there would, there was nothing in, like, movie history quite the same because you had the Avengers, which was, like, this big team-up film. But, like, even Age of Ultron didn't have as many comic book characters on the same playing field at the same time in one scene like the airport scene was the biggest culmination of comic book characters that anyone ever had ever seen on screen and that was just kind of incredible but also like it's just an airport like visually it's so stale and it's just a fun little thing but there's not really much style to it and while most of the film does have some good visuals and good style that airport scene and a few others that I can't really think of off at the top of my head, just weren't quite as flashy as they should have been. They were just a little like bland, a little bit stale. But aside from that, the characters were pretty good. Like they give almost every character at least something to do, like Wanda, Vision, even Hawkeye and Ant-Man, Natasha, you all see where they're coming from. And then you have the inclusion of Spider-Man, which I liked more re-watching it this time around, but I still don't think that Tom Holland quite had the the right, I don't know, chemistry or the right performance. Like, it just didn't seem like he was quite there yet. I do like what Marvel did with him moving forward, but just in Civil War, Tom Holland was good. At first, I thought he wasn't, but watching it again, he's all right. So I'll give the movie that. And then you have T'Challa, which I actually thought T'Challa was a great character. It was a great introduction for the Black Panther and just sets up so much good stuff, not only for Civil War itself, but for his own solo movie in Black Panther. So that was good stuff. Uh, I think that they should have used Rhodey a little bit better. Like his character is just kind of there. And I think they honestly should have killed Rhodey off in that scene where you know, Iron Man gets so upset because Rhodey got shot out of the sky. Like, if they had actually killed Rhodey, that scene would have had importance, but it just kind of seems dumb because he's literally just walking on two legs. 
he like gets paralyzed and then he's using robot legs to walk. And then in Infinity War, he's basically just Rhodey again. So there was like no consequences. And I think that is the biggest problem for me with this movie was the lack of consequences because Zemo, it's like, oh, Zemo won, Zemo won because he got Iron Man to fight Captain America and try to kill Bucky and all that. Captain America drops his shield, but it's like, okay, that's emotional, good emotional stuff, but look at what happens in the very next movie with these characters, Infinity War. Not to mention at the end of this, like, like, um, Cap's team are all in prison, but then at the end, you just see him breaking everybody out. It's like, oh, so I guess they're they're not going to have to worry about that hurdle in the next movie. They're already free. So, and then it's like, everybody on Iron Man's team just turns against Team Iron Man. It's like, the only one left on Iron Man's team was Iron Man and Rhodey. Like, literally, Natasha decides to help Cap... In the end, Black Panther, T'Challa, decides to help Cap. I guess Iron Man still has Spider-Man, which plays in well with the next Spider-Man movie. But once again, look, almost everybody, Vision, everybody that was on Iron Man's team just goes to Team Captain. So they're all fugitives now. And it doesn't matter because at the beginning of Infinity War, it's like the end of the world. So it's like even Rhodey, of all people, decides to turn against the government. It's like, he's just like, government... Just stop talking. We have an alien threat. Don't talk to us. And so they go to Wakanda. Literally, Civil War was supposed to tear down the Avengers, make them weaker for Thanos' coming. But in the end, it actually just made them stronger because we got Spider-Man, we got Black Panther, and so they're just all hanging out in Wakanda, not to mention everybody that was on Iron Man's team, Vision, Rhodey, um, trying to think of somebody else, uh, uh, yeah, Natasha, they all go to Wakanda and fight Thanos' army. Like, they're stronger than they were before. Like, the end of Age of Ultron, it was literally just, like, a ragtag team of Rhodey, Vision, Wanda, which Vision and Wanda are really powerful, and then you had Falcon, it's like Natasha and Cap. They were missing Thor, the Hulk, and they were missing, like, Iron Man had retired. So it's like, how did Civil War tear them apart? All it did was give them new assets in Spider-Man and... Ant-Man and Black Panther. It's like the whole point of Civil War just doesn't work when you look at its inclusion in the rest of the franchise and the way that it ends. It's good. It's got some emotional moments. It's got some good history with the Winter Soldier and Tony Stark's parents. There's a lot of good stuff here. Some of it's great. Some of it's even top 10 best moments in the MCU. But as a whole, it's full of... Uh, Plot, contri not contrivances, plot convenience, and just, it's poorly set up for the context of everything that comes after it. So those are my thoughts on Captain America Civil War. Uh, if you want, like, an overall score, I think I gave it, like, an 84% in quality, maybe 85, and somewhere in the mid, mid-70s. mid uh, like an overall score of like 79 or 80 is what I would give Civil War. It's a good film, but it's by far not even close to the best of the MCU. So thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help you be on the lookout for more videos from Luke Film Boss. Bye.